Good morning, Michelle Saxman here and coming at you with a Wellness Wednesday. I am not a doctor. I do not diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent anything. I'm not going to diagnose with someone with an anxiety or panic disorder or anything like that, but I'm talking about today anxious thoughts and worried thoughts and what are some strategies we can do to kind of capture those things. Again, I'm a certified master certified health and wellness coach, as well as a certified brain health coach with the Amen Clinic, Amen University. So what are some tips and tricks when we are anxious and worried? Some things that we can do, what are some tools we can have in our toolbox? And the first thing I'm going to start with is breathing, breath work, and actually how oxygen up to the brain, controlling our breaths actually changes the body's chemistry, the neurochemistry. Box breathing is the first one I have listed here. What I would suggest starting with is you breathe in for four seconds, hold for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, hold for four seconds. Then do five seconds of an inhale, hold for five seconds, exhale for five seconds, hold for five seconds. That is referred to as box breathing. You wanna to try to get up to, if you can, eight seconds, but you start with about four seconds of an inhale, hold for four. In addition, there's another form of breathing, which is diaphragmatic breathing, which I've talked about before. Those are gonna be your really big inhales, really big exhales, and imagining the diaphragm actually massaging the adrenal glands on the back above the kidneys. So really doing some deep diaphragmatic breathing. I say it's kind of like butterfly wings. I like to envision filling up from the bottom and then you wanna fill your lungs all the way up to the top. So that is diaphragmatic breathing. Something that has been working definitely for me is binaural beats. And what you will need is some sort of headset pods in both ears. I just listened to binaural beats on YouTube. And what it's going to do is the way that the music is moving between the two headsets is actually going to be doing working with theta waves, alpha waves, delta waves in the brain. So you can actually look up different things for binaural beats and whatever it is you want to accomplish, binaural beats and sleep, binaural beats for peace, binaural beats for the pituitary gland, whatever it is, just look up binaural beats um, and on just right here on YouTube. Um, then I have down meditation. Y'all, meditation, I mentioned in my uh, Jesus Calling videos just how important meditation is for that thing of empty me of me so I can be fully filled with you. My recommendation is start with three to five minutes of a meditation and my encouragement in the realm of meditation is this is not about our ability to turn off the ego cultural faucet completely. Meditation is really, I refer to it as training our return to muscle because it's natural for our mind to wander but it's when we can return to that state of peace, that empty me of me. I like guided meditations because my mind is going to naturally wander. And so I like someone to kind of bring me back. Peloton has wonderful meditations if you're in the Peloton community and have the Peloton app. But I'm going to list some um, other free ones. And YouTube has plenty of meditations. Meditation actually works with the neurochemistry and activates a spiritual center in the brain. There are many different forms of meditation, but I would encourage you to begin exploring meditation. Um, coloring calm, coloring books. I don't know if you've seen those, but I refer to them as the adult coloring books. So getting a coloring book or a puzzle, something that works for you, that would be very calming. And then there are other techniques that you can spend some time right here on YouTube. Havening, um, if you've heard of tapping, EFT, EMDR, things like that, havening is a little bit more of an up and coming, um, not as many years of research, but great impact. So the havening technique, I am not trained in havening. I've done some havening workshops and I really do what it does, the way it works with the brain. So some of these other techniques. Being a wellness coach, I'm going to always talk about food, movement, mindset, and community, but this is about building a toolbox to help with those anxious, worried thoughts. Again, being someone who's incredibly spiritual, if you're coming, finding me from the Jesus Calling community, I talk about the ego being born of the culture, 
And we have always within all of us as human beings, we have the ego and we have the spirit. You know, in the old c cartoons, it would have like the little angel and the little devil sitting on the sides. The ego is born of the culture, born of fear, born of trauma. That is the inner child that needs to be nurtured. So when we can capture in our mindset, when we can capture the brain train running away from us, bring, how do we bring ourselves back into the spiritual realm, into that peace? And that is really through gratitude, seeking ways to give thanks, even for times of contrast, acknowledging that we're growing and evolving, giving thanks for that. So gratitude is going to be something that's legit going to help us switch from the culture, the ego, the hamster wheel of fear and worry and anxiety coming over into a place of gratitude and peace. Food that's going to help us, y'all, more natural, less processed eating foods in the form, most likely when you're going to grab an apple, as opposed to, I'll say an apple cupcake or something like that, getting things in the form that they were created by God, eating things, most raw, natural fruits, vegetables. I'm not opposed. I'm not a vegan vegetarian. I don't adhere to a specific lifestyle, but eating more raw foods when possible and coming into the summer many more options in the grocery store. So I say stay around the exterior of the grocery store and stay away from the interior aisles. Get out of your cans and your box goods and eat as much fresh produce as possible. Uh, food movement, movement, always moving. We were designed to move. Toxins, stinking thinking, movement, even if it's walking, push-ups, staying. If we can't get outside because it's too hot, there are things that we can do inside. So food, movement, mindset, and as I've mentioned before, community is not just the people we surround ourselves with, but it's the social media, it's the TV, it's the books we read, the musics we listen to then there are always some supplements. Again, more tools for the toolbox. People that are struggling with anxiety have been found to be low in the B vitamins, B6, B9, B12. And I will encourage you with the B12, I mean the B9, the folate, you do not want folic acid. Um, I actually encourage my clients to get a methylated folate, an L-methyl folate, because it's more bioavailable and absor absorbable for the body. A lot of times people with anxiety and worry are low in zinc, D, and magnesium. Y'all, these are all things we can get at the grocery store. The B vitamins, zinc, D, magnesium, and um, omega-3s, just great fish oils for the brain. Then there are um, the other uh, like amino acids um, that are great for the brain. I'm trying to think of the other terminology that they use for them, the neurotropics. So we want to look at taurine, L-theanine, GABA, 5-HTP, ashwagandha, holy basil, chamomile, all those things that are in calming teas. Those are things that you may want to supplement with. And then I also mentioned oils. I do love essential oils. So any of our large tree grounding oils, um, frankincense, pine, lavender is always a good one. So just adding some tools in the toolbox as anxiety might be on the rise out there with so much uncertainty in our culture and tragedy all around us. So those are my takeaways for today. A little bit of a long video, and I actually probably should break this down into two or three. Let me know if this was helpful, if you want me to go over a little bit more, or possibly even break this down into two or three videos. Y'all have a super blessed day. Enjoy this beautiful Wellness Wednesday. Stay connected to the vine, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.